Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about some tips which will help you reduce the interference or some annoyances while you make the Skype calls. So the first thing is that you need to buy a decent mic, preferably buy an external mic which is dedicated and from a renowned brand. By this I mean you don't want to go for the mics which are built in the headsets or if you want to buy a headset with inbuilt mic go for a renowned brand and also do check for the reviews and stuff so the cheap ones they are going to interfere with the um, the, the out speaker outputs are going to interfere with the mic out a uh, mic input for example um, I do have um, an HP mic whenever I make a Skype call using that the other person hears his own voice when he talks so that is a big annoyance so most and the reason bec behind this is that the mic wire and the speaker wire they go side by side and they tend to create um, interferences with each other so uh, if you are going for such a mic do prefer a little bit costly mic I mean to say that um, you, ha you don't want to go for the cheap ones okay so let's talk about some Linux specific stuff um, that would uh, help the Linux users to enhance this uh, quality of uh, the input of their Skype calls so the first thing is um, you need to disable the monitor of built-in audio so for that you need to go to the sound settings if you're using another distro or um, some other flavor of Linux than mine, I'm using Xubuntu. So if you're using d a different uh, operating system, I mean the different flavor of Linux, you can find the optimal settings from the settings panel or something. And also you can type the uh, command Elsa Mixer, like here. You can go to the Elsa Mixer from the terminal to find the uh, command line version of the sound settings so first of all go to the sound settings when you go to sound settings you have to go to the uh, output devices uh, sorry the input devices and from input devices you have to make sure all input devices is selected and from here you have to disable the disable or um, mute the monitor of built-in audio analog stereo you just have to mute it so that it doesn't interfere with the recording so after that make sure you uh, do uh, reduce the boost as much as possible for example this is the bass volume of my uh, microphone and the rest above it is the boost so try to find a good compromise where the disturbance or the uh, the empty sound the, the empty sound that the your mic makes that is tolerable so reducing the volume and uh, keeping the microphone near your mouth helps you also you may want to disable the system sounds for that just go to the playback and from here just mute the system sounds that's it and also um, go to the output devices and then um, choose your headphone if you are using one just choose the headphone so that it directly plays to your headphone rather than the uh, analog output also m do make sure that if you are using multiple mics like me I have three mics connected to my system right now um, if you are uh, using multiple mics you just uh, want to go to um, configuration and from here you have to disable all the mics which you are not using and also if possible try to disconnect them physically from your system so that they do not tend to create any interferences with your current mic for example I do have um, um, a logic logitech webcam that comes inbuilt with the uh, microphone so I am just turning it off so that it doesn't create any interference 
one more thing is that you need to make sure that the wire that is coming um, from your system to your mic that wire doesn't uh, have any electrical or radio device um, near it because the radio devices and the other electrical devices like the f mobile chargers mobile phones or uh, some other bluetooth devices they tend to create a lot of disturbance uh, with the microphone so um, also try to disconnect any bluetooth radio devices or any uh, mobile phone or any other uh, radio stuff that is connected to your system as an example i did have um, a bluetooth dongle connected to my system which was causing sharp shrieky kind of noises in my skype calls so once i removed removed it um, the skype calls were super fine and also um, you can if you are having a desktop system you can try rem um, disconnecting your mic from from the front panel to the back of your pan uh, back of your computer the rear of the um, system so th uh, this most probably will help you because the um, the back panel is more shielded and it it would not be capturing much of the interferences that you face in the front panel uh, I hope uh, the video has helped you uh, understand the issues uh, that come in between your good quality Skype calls if it helps please hit like and if you face any issues comment have a nice time